Remember, I said, and also almost all spiritual true, uh, all spiritual uh, discussions about the spirit world say that there are spheres in the spirit world. Now, up until recently, most people believe there are only seven, right? And so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? Now, there's a lot more than that, but let's let's go with what the beliefs are. So here I am on earth, I live my life on earth, I pass into, supposedly, the first sphere, if it was my first incarnation. I have my life review. I go back to earth, I can't remember my life review. But now I'm meant to progress somehow on this life to get to the point where I can grow in love to this point, yeah? And then eventually to this point. And then to this point and so forth until I reach you might call it, you know, the pinnacle if you like where you don't need to reincarnate anymore. And in fact in that place a lot of these spirit these spiritual teachers say you have become God or you become a part of God again is the new age type feeling and so forth. Now firstly, does it make sense to prevent the person from progressing unless they regress? Does that sound like, like this, you know when you do in your own life, two steps forward, one step back, two steps forward, two steps forward, one step back. When you start doing that, like, it does feel like you're dancing, isn't it? Does it feel like you're actually progressing? Would you walk that way? <laughs> so, you know, if you wanted to walk from, from uh, Marucci across to, uh, to Malulaba, you imagine one, two, one, one, two, one. How far how fast would that be? Does that seem like the most logical thing to do to you? It doesn't, does it? Why would God create what seems to be to us an illogical thing? Exactly. It's a justification, actually, for punishment and pain. See, what, what a lot of these beliefs began in was the feeling that they were being punished all the time came through a lot, right? Feeling emotionally. And they're trying to explain the reason for this punishment. Now, there were some people who didn't even believe in God, so they were trying to explain the reason for why they felt like they were getting punished. And so they came up with some of these beliefs as a result, which do explain to a degree, if you accept them, why it seems like you're getting punished in your life, don't they? That's probably why many... How many of you in the past have actually believed in reincarnation, like full on? So the majority, right? So you must have believed in it for a reason. We'll talk about some of those reasons in the next section. Right? But can you see how there is a lot of flaws with the arguments from a point of view of love? Now, imagine if you did that, if you made a system where they couldn't progress into a new universe, let's call these new universes that are more loving, you couldn't progress into these new universes without going to the worst possible universe first and living that again. That Doesn't that feel quite unfair? Like. You've done all the work here to get from there to there, and then you've got to go back here to get from there to there. How would you feel about that? How do you feel inside of yourself about it? Doesn't it feel unfair? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any logical sense, but does it? how does it feel? It feels unfair <coughs> if you let yourself feel about it. Would God create things that are unfair? If, if there was a loving God, would God create things unfair? Maybe I should ask that question. 